Okay, so uh, I discharge a little bit the battery to be sure that we have uh, all the elements uh, on the same page. Talking about the voltage, of course, let's see. 3.29, 3.66, 3.7, 3 3.5, 1.6. Okay, this one is kind of lower, that voltage. And now, people, let's apply power. Minus, plus, let's have 21 volts. Charging point is here, this is plus. 10.43 in the morning, right? Let's see how long it takes and if it's stopping when uh, the voltage is reached. So I suspect something wrong with my emitter, with my current meter there. So let's have this in between the, the charging circuit. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, right. So we got like 900 milliamps. So this is wrong, obviously. So the beginning of the charge was like 2 amps or something. And this is perfect for these elements. Everything is fine. We have a 44 degree here on these diodes probably. But nothing wrong with the MOSFETs. And here we are one and a half hour later. The charge stops at 20.6 volts. Let's raise the voltage a little bit. 21. Let's see what's happening. So this is only half of the current. It's something wrong with my emitter there, but that's not important for now. The charge was like 1.5 amps. I'm pretty sure it's getting on trickle. Uh... Okay, there we go. Zero, zero. Okay, let's put it down. Even if this one it's uh, um, on 21.8, let's say 22 volts. And we can see this is a trickle charge. How long it takes, I don't know. So it's almost 12 o'clock at noon. I'm gonna let this running for another hour or something. Let's see what's happening. Okay, so let's check some voltages as long as uh, the BMS it's trickle charging. On the batteries it shouldn't be more than 20.3. Now it's charging. It keeps the voltage under control, 20.1, not more. Even if we have 25 on the power supply, this is good. Once the voltage is reached, the BMS is disconnecting or trickling the input. The power supply is off and we have 20.3 volts. Let's see the cells. 4 volts, 4, 4.1, 3.9 and come on, 4.1. I'm pretty close, I may say. Let me have another test, you know. I'll fake a short. This uh, emitter can supply or better said resist to 10 amps. There we go. Let's go on 10 amps. So this is the output and you see now it's blocked. Is it? No. That's interesting. This is a really high current. What we can do is to have one of this guy just to see if we have a kind of short protection. Six amps. Nothing gets hot. No problem. The wires are getting hot, but nothing. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, I think it's delivering. I can't stop it. I really can't stop it. We should have a kind of protection on shortcut. Let's put back the energy we've been used and let's have a discharge test. Okay, so uh, the BMS went to trickle charge again. Look there. That means we supplied the lost energy, let's call it. And now let's have the discharge test. And here is 1221. We have like 10 watts of power. Okay, let's take this out. We don't need the power supply anymore. Let's hook these bulbs. Okay, let's measure the amps, the output amps here. Of course, these batteries are not in the best shape. So we have like 1.4 amps with 20 volts. That means like 25 watts or something anyway, around there. Let's check this out. And we have like 
380 milli so the battery should be empty in around four hours or something there we go you know these bulbs are getting hot so it's better to have them in the air somewhere Okay, so here we are at the end of the experiment. You could see that uh, the um, BMS was shutting down. Yeah, 12.30 turns off the light at 4.23 in the afternoon. So it took like, like I said, <laughs> you know, it's mathematics, you know, it's like four, almost four hours, okay? That's a good news, you know, because that proves the BMS it's stopping the batteries once uh, they are depleted or around uh, 3 volts. Now, I just put a little bit of charge because I want to see if it's restarting by itself when uh, the charging is applied. I'm using this little guy here. So this provides around 20 volts with 0 .2, uh, 0 0.2 amps. This is the original vacuum cleaner adapter charger so it's not a very strong one i just plug this in to see if the bms it's restarting after stopping the batteries or decoupling the battery in fact so yes we got power there and now also we can check if we have a kind of balancer or at least a kind of uh, equalization between cells now let's see first cell we got 3.51 second 3.7 3.75 3.66 3.70 okay number two three four and five they are pretty okay number one it's under 3.6 well like i said before this is just an experiment this is not the final cells which will be in the pack of course let me see about their advertising charge voltage yeah 21 volts like i said we have a maximum of 4.25 volts per cell that's perfect continuous discharge current 8 to 20 amps so maybe that's why it's not reaching the shortcut cut down i didn't uh, realize to uh, shut down the batteries once a uh, shortcut it's uh, on the way it can have a kind of overcharge single cell detection voltage that's good overcharge protection yeah we got that over discharge protection yes we got that oh it's reaching 30 amps okay over current protection that's overcurrent, so it's not exactly a shortcut. Hmm, interesting. No, shortcut circuit protection. 0 0.8 volts recovery state auto. Okay, so it have a kind of auto after disconnect the load. Well, I'm sorry, but I didn't. I didn't have that. I mean the shortcut protection. Shall we try that again? Of course, why not? So here I have my multimeter, 10 amps. Let's shortcut the output. We did that before. Let me see. And the fuse is gone, of course. My fuse is gone. Do we still have power here? 18.20. Yes. What can I do more than this? Okay, let's have something really, really, really dramatic. Kind of dangerous. You know, shortcut protection. It's really important. Let me have one of these little wires. And the batteries are not charged very well. So we already have a capacity shortcut protection somehow all right but even the wasted cells like this they still have a lot of power so don't be fooled by uh, used batteries okay there we go one two three okay okay the wire is hot do we still have power here? Yes, we got it. Okay, let me do something else. This is plus and minus. 18 volts there. I don't want to touch that because the wire is getting hot. 
Okay. Zero volts. And the voltage is up again. But we have 13.84 volts now. All right. Okay. Yes, it's working. You see? So the multimeter now, it's a kind of load. Go for it. Zero. And recover 13 volts. Again. But now it's not dramatic anymore. So this is not a shortcut. Okay, let's put the bulb in. We shouldn't have power to the bulb and we don't have it. Okay, so the shortcut is working as long as there is a load still present here. That's the story about. Somehow the multimeter, it's a kind of load. Electronic load doesn't matter. A few mega ohms, it's enough for the BMS to feel that there is a load. You see? Okay, we take this out, put it back again. Now we should have power. Let me check with the bulb. Come on. Yes. It's on. Shortcut. Oh. Thirteen point something. And let's have the bulb and nothing. If we take the multimeter out and now we plug the bulb we have power to the bulb we can do something else okay even better let me have the bulb on power here okay so it's lighting evidently we have a load here short and it's gone yes so the shortcut protection is working this is very very important that's the end of the story it's limiting the voltages at the tops, bottom and the top voltage, it have a shortcut protection. There is a single test to be done, but uh, I can't offer too much because these uh, are wasted cells. So far, it's working. So it can be used for any other purpose. Oh, you are <laughs> they are hot now because of the short, of course. I still have a single doubt, you know, about the charge current. But anyway, more than 1.4 or 1.5 amps, which I supplied through my power supply, it doesn't take more because of the lack of cells. So far, so good. If it's usable, of course. That's the end and I hope it's useful. If you have any question, please write them down. I'll be happy to answer. And uh, of course, like always, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like and uh, most of all, be creative and have fun. Bye-bye.